In today's video, I'm gonna share with you all some fragrance layering combos that I think all of you should try. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, in today's video, we're going to be talking about fragrance layering. So I am not a big fragrance layerer. I do like to use scented lotions and all, but I'm not like a lot of people on this platform that go out by all the Bath & Body Works lotions, body sprays. I'm not that type of girl, okay? I have a few and that's all I need for me. In today's video, we're not really gonna be talking about those type of layering. That's the layering that I do most often is like a body lotion with a fragrance. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about fragrances layered together. So fragrance combinations. This is not something that I do all the time. It's not something that I feel the need to do all the time. However, it has been kind of fun to play around with a couple of fragrance combinations recently. And I know a lot of you all have been asking me for layering combinations and a lot of y'all are into that. So I wanted to give y'all what y'all want to see, okay? So I don't have that many combinations. I think I have probably about six or seven. Well, that's a good amount. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into them. So we're gonna start out with the one that I feel like is the most basic that a lot of you have probably tried and a lot of you probably own both these fragrances. So this fragrance combination is with Kayali Vanilla 28 combined with Deja Vu White Flower, also by Kayali. I decided to combine these two fragrances because I really like the smell of Deja Vu White Flower. It is kind of my go-to white floral scent but if you know me i am not the biggest white floral fan like i like white florals and i like florals in general but for me to just go for a floral scent i have to be in a special mood and some florals are way too sharp for me especially ones with a lot of jasmine in them i mean i have some jasmine fragrances now but a lot of times the florals give me headaches um particularly white florals that could dang jasmine and tuberose together i found but anyway Deja Vu, I believe, has jasmine tuberose and maybe some other white floral. So it is a traditional white floral fragrance, but it does have a little bit of vanilla to it. Vanilla 28, I feel like everybody knows this fragrance. It is a brown sugar vanilla fragrance and it is a staple for a lot of people. It is quite sweet, but it's also spicy. So combining these two together just give me a more vanillic white floral and I love it. These smell so freaking good together. And I like to wear them together because I feel like I like the combo better than Deja Vu Alone. Although Deja Vu Alone is gorgeous and you can see my bottle's gotten dark so the vanilla is coming out more in it. But together, these just do something special on my skin. They really makes me wanna wear this combo. Whereas before, I felt like I was just hanging on the Deja Vu just because it's a white floral that I really, really like. I love the smell of it, but it wasn't one that I reached for often just because it's not really my type of go-to scent, but I didn't wanna get rid of it. But combining these together, it becomes a combo that now I want to wear. So if you own these two fragrances, you probably have already tried this because I feel like Kayali really boosts layers of their scents and I'm sure you probably have heard about this combo before but if you have these two definitely try it if you have not already and I also want to add that I don't think the vanilla makes this deja vu too sweet for hot weather all of the combos I'm going to share with you today I feel like are appropriate for warm weather or for year-round use so again that was vanilla 28 mixed with deja vu both from Kayali so this next combo features another fragrance from Kayali and this is Yum Pistachio Gelato and I'm combining it with Pistachio from DS and Durga. Now if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should be, but a while ago I posted a reel that featured Yum and all the different things you can layer with it and I actually feel like this is really good to layer. So if you have this fragrance, I would suggest playing around with it and see like how you like it layered. I think it's great alone, but it's definitely layerable. Pistachio Gelato to me smells like a light 
airy pistachio scent that is not overly sweet it also has some citrus in there so this makes this more of a citrusy gourmand fragrance but not a truly edible gourmand the pistachio in this is light but to me it's definitely there and it smells delicious without smelling too food like now pistachio from ds and durga i have a whole video on this as well but this is the nutty side of pistachio so this is not a sweet scent this is all about the nut pistachio not pistachio ice cream at all so it is nutty it's a little bit um woody smelling it kind of smells like there's some tonka in there too so it has like that natural nutty sweetness but no like additional sweetness you have to be a fan of nutty scents to like this fragrance so combining these together i get my whole life so <laughs> this is my favorite combination to do with yum because together these just smell amazing they bring out the best in each other i know a lot of people people complain about the pistachio gelato not being nutty enough and some people complain about it not being thick enough this thickens it up this adds the nuttiness and together they smell amazing they smell not necessarily more gourmand because I don't, like I said, I don't feel like pistachio by Diaz and Durga is extremely like gourmand smelling. It's a gourmand scent, but it's not like a cake smelling scent or anything like that. But they don't smell extremely gourmand, but they smell amazing together. There's depth, but there's also sweetness. It smells grown up. I love these two together. I tried these like when I first got Yum. This was probably the first combo I tried and I fell in love and I definitely wanted to share it with y'all because they smell amazing together. And I feel like the combo makes them smell better than either one of them alone. Although I do love the scent of both of them alone. Together, I feel like they just do it for me. Yeah, they do it for me. So again, if you have both of these, definitely try this combo out. That's Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato and Diaz and Durga Pistachio. The next combination I have is Lamar by Kajal. And I mix that with Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian. So both of these, I love the smell of. They are delicious. So let's start out with Lamar because that's typically what I spray first. This one is a juicy pineapple scent that smells airy and sweet, but it also has this woodiness to it, this depth to it. I've heard some ladies say this smells masculine to them. I would disagree. I feel like this is perfectly unisex, but just I wanted to let y'all know that just in case because I know sometimes I can like more masculine leaning fragrances. So keep that in mind, but this smells amazing to me all on its own. The other fragrance is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. And again, I love the way this one smells as well. This one smells like Apple Brandy on the Rocks. <laughs> Like it smells boozy, but not heavy. So you get that sweetness from like brandy. You get the apple smell that's more like a fresh apple, like a um, green apple, I think. Yeah, more like a green apple. And then you get like a little bit of oak in the background, but it's all done in this very like translucent way. I think I have a video talking all about this fragrance. And my only gripe with this fragrance when I got it was that I felt like it did not project enough and it didn't last all day. I will say performance has gotten a lot better on this fragrance since I got it. And it actually performs much better in the heat than it does like when it's cooler. I feel like this is an outdoor type of scent. So I'm not, I don't have a problem with the performance of this anymore like I did when I first reviewed this fragrance. However, putting these together, come on, come on. Lamar lasts forever by itself. Putting these together, it just, it is so freaking good this combo i tried because of longevity issues that i thought i had with apple brandy <laughs> and i feel like these smell kind of similar they don't smell the same but i felt like they would go together and boy do they go together like this smells absolutely amazing so if you like boozy scents and you have both of these you have to try this out it's perfect for summer but i think you can wear it year round as long as they're combined when it comes to apple brandy on the rocks i don't reach for this when it's not hot by itself but i would definitely reach for these together when it's not hot but you know it's pretty much always hot here but for those of you who live in different climates i think that if you're looking to give a little bit more base to apple brandy on the rocks then try it mixed with lamar and thank me later y'all thank me later this is this may be my favorite combo out of this video i don't know <laughs> 
So again, that's Apple Brandy on the Rocks by Killian and Lamar by Kajal. The next combo that I have combines Burberry Her, which I feel like almost everybody has this, mixed with Blanche Bet by Liquids Imaginaire, which I feel like at this point, almost everybody has this one as well. If you have both of these, put them together. Put them together. So Burberry Her is an airy strawberry scent in my opinion. It doesn't smell like real authentic strawberries. It smells like artificial strawberries, but in the best way possible. And it has that same kind of airy sweetness to it that BR540 has. They don't smell alike, but they have been compared. <laughs> so this one has that same airy type sweetness. And it's gorgeous for hot weather, but I don't know, I kind of got tired of this, I'm not gonna lie. Um, to me, I will wear this when it's really hot, but it's not one that I ever really am fiending for. However, now that I have mixed it with Blanche Bet, that's a different story, y'all. So Blanche Bet to me is a milky scent. It smells like a coconut sandalwood milky scent. I don't believe coconut is listed as a note, but that's what it smells like to me. And although that sounds very dense and heavy, I feel like there's also some white florals in this scent and that coconut that kind of keep it lifted up. Like it doesn't smell too thick and heavy even though it is a more lactonic scent. So combining these together give me strawberry milkshake and I am here for it. I tried this combo one night when I was going to bed. I sprayed on Blanche Bet and then I was like, I wanna do a little something with this. And I sprayed Burberry Hair on top just on a whim and I fell in love. I smelled so freaking good. The Blanche Bet definitely increased the performance of Burberry Hair because a lot of times when I spray this one on myself, I feel like I really can't smell it on myself too much, but combining these together, they just did something. And I will say that if you have been thinking about Blanche Bet, not only does it wear well alone, I feel like this is great for layering. I feel like you can mix this with any type of fruity scent. You can mix it with nutty scents. And I feel like it just will add a little sweetness, a little milkiness to any fragrance without it being too much. Now, not everybody's into milky fragrances, but I feel like even if you're not into milky fragrances, you still may like this. I don't feel like it's extremely milky, but these two together really do something for me. So again, that is Burberry Her. This is the original and Blanche Bet by Liquids Imaginaire. The next combo I have, I actually shared on Instagram probably about a week or so ago, but this is Tom Ford Electric Cherry and I combined it with Wild Cherry from Mancera. So both of these are cherry scents, obviously, so easy combo. And Electric Cherry just does not perform for me. It smells good, so to me it smells like um, a very juicy cherry scent at the opening, but that quickly goes away and then it becomes more of just like a sweet kind of cherry floral. And then eventually I feel like the cherry's completely gone on it. So I have combined this with other things. And I will tell y'all, like my bottle is a little bit more than halfway done. I only have the small bottle, but it's a little bit more than halfway done. It smells amazing at open. But as, like I said, as it dries down, it just becomes a generic floral to my opinion with a little bit of cheeriness to it. Anyway, I knew I wanted more cherry in this scent. So I have combined it with a couple other cherry fragrances, but I think this one is my favorite um, just because the wild cherry fragrance to me is more of a fizzy cherry scent. It's not too deep and dark. It's more of a playful cherry. And I feel like that goes really well with electric cherry. And together they smell really good. Now the Mancera lasts all day. Um, so it will definitely outlast electric cherry. <laughs> but combined together, electric cherry, I feel like I can smell it a little bit longer than wearing it alone. So I feel like the wild cherry increases the performance of electric cherry. And if I was gonna be out wearing this like for long periods of time, what I would do is spray on my wild cherry, spray on my electric cherry, and then take the electric cherry with me to top off. And I feel like I would probably be able to get away with topping off after like four or five hours um, just to make them smell amazing. But this one lasts all day on its own. So yeah, again, that's Electric Cherry by Tom Ford and Wild Cherry by Mancera. 
This next combo, I start with Maison Mataha Escapade Gourmand. And then on top, I spray Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun. So these two fragrances, again, smell amazing together and separately. <laughs> Maison Mataha Escapade Gourmand is a sweet vanilla scent that smells like it has a caramel touch to it. It gives off a very warm vibe. It smells so freaking delicious. And the way it just works on my skin, it just, it, it makes me smell edible. So I love this fragrance, but it is quite sweet. And I decided to layer Sunny Side Up over it because I felt like it would kind of lighten up Escapade Gourmand. So Sunny Side Up to me is a coconut sandalwood scent, but there's definitely a, um, I think it's ISO E Super. So there's definitely that molecular tone to it like most Juliet Has a Gun fragrances have, but it just works. Like it, sound, it smells kind of odd, when you smell it from the nozzle, <laughs> but when I spray it on my body, I feel like it just works. It's unique and I love this fragrance and it layers really well with a lot of things. So wearing these together just kind of lightens up the sweetness of Escapade Gourmand and it adds that coconut sandalwood. It just makes this feel like a more summery combination. Um, yeah, it is so freaking good y'all, it's so good. And I don't feel like it's overpowering. And to me, it smells quite unique. So it gives me summer vibes and it gives me that coconut sandalwood vanilla mix without smelling like anything else I have in my collection. So I would say that if you have these, try it out. Let me know what you think for sure. So again, that's Escapade Gourmand and Sunny Side Up. Now I know I said I was talking about combining two fragrances together, but this combo actually is using an oil and I'll explain to you why I decided to include this combo anyway. So the oil that I'm talking about is from the company Brooklyn Dream. They can be found on Etsy, but I will link this down below. This was actually gifted to me. It was a, she sent me a very sweet package. It was not like required for me to talk about it. She just wanted to send me a nice gift so this one is have a lot i think it's called but this is the peach rum body oil and again i will link it down below so i start off by applying this and then on top i apply bitter peach from tom ford so bitter peach from tom ford is a boozy like syrupy sweet peach but i also feel like there's patchouli in this fragrance that gives it some earthiness some depth maybe some woodiness in this fragrance as well so this is not going to be for everybody to me this smells like peach gummy rings with some liqueur but also some patchouli <laughs> It's quite unique in my opinion. So this performs well on me on its own. I will say when I first tried this fragrance, I didn't feel like it performed well, but the longer I've had this, I don't know if they reformulated because when I, I bought this when it first came out and I returned it. And then like I would smell it periodically over the years in the store and I felt like it started smelling different. And so I ended up going for another bottle and this bottle has much better performance and to me it's much deeper and thicker. So I kind of feel like Tom Ford reformulated this shortly after it came out, but y'all let me know what y'all think. But anyway, the version I have now works well on its own. However, combining it with this peach and rum body oil just does something. Now this peach and rum body oil, I decided to include in this video because I know it's an oil, so I'm kind of cheating, but I feel like this is the type of oil that is just as strong as a fragrance. I don't feel like this is the type of oil that you're gonna put on and barely smell it, no. You can definitely wear this alone, it smells amazing. It smells like peach and rum. Like the peach in this definitely smells deeper and more full. And then the rum, you could definitely smell the booziness, but I don't feel like it's overdone. So this smells really good. So I would say that combining these together, it just really makes like a more intense version of Bitter Peach. They smell amazing together. I think this will be a good option to wear alone, especially if Bitter Peach didn't work out for you. If you thought Bitter Peach had too much patchouli or was like, smelled a bit off, then maybe check this one out because it smells amazing, y'all. And these smell amazing together. So now I don't know if I'll ever wear Better Peach without wearing this because they smell so freaking good together, just very intense. So this combo is definitely like a more intense version of Bitter Peach on its own, but they work really well. So again, that is Bitter Peach from Tom Ford and Havala from Brooklyn Dream. The next combo I have, I start out with Ambrosia Imperial from Navitas Parfums. This is their collaboration with AI The Great. 
And then on top of that, I spray Bananas Brulee from Dawkins Arome Company. So Ambrosia Imperial, I know it's been all over the internet, but it's for good reason, y'all. This smells amazing. It has a banana note in here that is a little bit boozy, but there's also saffron in here. This has a airy nature to it, but it's not a light scent. It also has a little bit of spiciness to it. I feel like a slight bit of woodiness to it. Kind of hard to explain in my opinion, but I know one of the inspirations for this fragrance was Bananas Foster, which is a dessert dish that I think has like flambe bananas in it with rum, if I, I don't know if that's completely correct, but I know there's some booziness to the bananas, okay? <laughs> this definitely gives me those vibes, but done on a ele very elevated scale. I love the way this smells, y'all. This fragrance also smells pretty juicy, and I don't know where that's coming from, but it smells delicious. Anyway, so I start out with this fragrance and then to amp up the banana note, I apply the Bananas Brulee from Dawkins Arome. So Bananas Brulee, to me, just smells like banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Banana Laffy Taffy with maybe a slight bit a slight, slight bit of booziness to it. This smells amazing on its own. It's very fun and playful, but together these just do something special. I actually showed this on my Instagram as well. I think I shared it in my stories one day. So again, follow me on Insta, but they just really smell really good together. Now, I don't feel like this fragrance is lacking the banana, but combining these together just gives it a more playful feel. So I found that when I wore these together, to me, it felt a little bit more daytime, whereas if I wear Ambrosia Imperial alone, I felt like it's a little bit more sophisticated. Still could be daytime for sure, but like, I wouldn't probably wear these together at night, whereas I will wear this alone at night. Hopefully that makes sense, but they smell amazing together. Neither one of them need to be layered, but together they're just doing something. It smells really good. So again, that's Ambrosia Imperial and Bananas Brulee. So this last combo is one that I actually just discovered last night when I was pulling my fragrances out for this video. I already had all these other combos. I already tried them and I had a running list of my phone to do this video. But this last combo, I just tried together last night and it did what it was supposed to do, y'all. So this combo combines Dama Bianca from Zerzhov with Lyra from Zerzhov. So same house. So I feel like that kind of indicates that they'll probably go well together. So for this combo, I'm not sure if it matters what order you put them in. I think last night I sprayed on the Dama Bianca first and then I put Lyra on top. I think that's the order I put it in, but I really don't remember y'all. But Dama Bianca is a vanilla floral scent with some citruses in it. So it has lime and kumquat that really help keep this uplifted. The vanilla is a little spicy, a little boozy, not cupcakey. And then you have these white florals to it. But to me, they don't overtake the fragrance. Lyra is what I call a lemon cookie scent, even though lemon is not a note in here. That's what it smells like to me. Lemon caramel cookies <sighs> delicious smelling so putting these two together they they just work y'all they work to me putting them together gave me the lemon cookie vibe still but it gave that spicy vanilla that's in Dama Bianca and it just made it more I feel like it made it more luxe it made Lyra smell more luxe but both of them combined together, I felt like I was still able to smell the DNA of both fragrances, but they just worked really, really well together. And I actually got a compliment on this little combo last night from my husband. Now I wear Lyra to bed a lot. I love the way it smells. And for some reason I tend to wear it to bed. Donald Bianca is one that I typically like to wear during the daytime, but putting these together, I feel like it would work for any time. <laughs> anytime like there is not an occasion that i feel like this wouldn't work for it smells edible but sexy and grown and delicious without smelling like too food like i love this little combo y'all i love it it smells really good and i feel like the lemony scent that i get in lyra really combines well with the lime and dama bianca and yeah and i smelled amazing y'all so again that's dama bianca and lyra so those were the combos that i wanted to share with you all if you have tried any of these let me know what you think of them down below 
Also, if you have any of the fragrances I have, try out the combo and let us know that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I typically upload videos three times a week, so I have tons of content that you can catch up on in your free time. Also, make sure you check out my website. It's www.simplyaisha.com. Get on my email list over there and come check out to see what I've been writing about. Also, if you want to connect with me more, follow me on Instagram. I'm typically in my stories almost every day and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs. I hope you all enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.